war always carries a cost. And my war on crime is no different. The truth is, no matter how hard I fight, I can't save everyone. In order to maintain my cover with the Pact, I had to sacrifice Selena. I just hope I can explain myself to her one day. But first, I have to stop Harley Quinn and her crew from stealing a deadly virus. With it, they could carry out mass murder in Gotham on a scale the city has never seen. Just gotta take out one itty bitty god. Then we can get the rest of the gang inside. Time to paint this place red, Brucey boy. No, let me handle this. <clears throat> can I help you? I think you better skedaddle. There's real danger headed your way. Let me call my manager. He's packing! Hey. Nicely done. For a second there, I thought you'd really gone chicken. We're in. You losers gonna join the party or what? Did you run into trouble? <laughs> Nothing we couldn't handle. Be ready. More will come. He's always so serious. Be on the lookout for security measures. We can disable them from here. Nicely done, Brucey. Come on. The clock is ticking. Lots of doors. Hey, should we uh, just start opening them? Secret lab? Hey! <laughs> Not that one. Hey, hey, you shouldn't be here. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hold up. I think this is it. Then that's where we want to go. What is this? Watch closely. Oh, good! I could use a little color. The dear departed Riddler's gonna help us out. Very clever. Come on, we're taking a ride. Just so we're all clear, this is a smash and grab operation. We smash the lab, grab the virus, and then we're gone. A virus? Sounds... Dangerous and unpredictable. If used properly, it should allow me to cure my Nora. And I will be able to perfect the power of my venom. The virus can do all that? Ooh, this is so exciting. The moment we've all been waiting for. Ooh, we gotta get this one for the history books. <sighs> Make sure you get my good side. Okay, everybody. Say cheese. Come on! Bruce, you're not even in it! Well, that's no good. Take two! <laughs> Huddle up! <gasps> hey, mister! Which way to all your most dangerous toys? <laughs> Someone's being a bad boy!
No! Can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs. Chop, chop, boys! It's the last mile. Waller, I'm in. Good. We're on our way. Do not let the Pact get their hands on that virus, Bruce. I've got it under control. Talking to yourself, huh? John! It's, it's okay, Bruce. I talk to myself all the time. To be honest, my voices haven't been letting up lately either. I, I keep thinking this virus was the thing holding us all together. It's what made us stick. I, I don't know, call me paranoid, but I'm worried once it's gone, Harley's just gonna just disappear. I just don't think I could take that kind of rejection. You know, when you invest so much into something, it practically becomes who you are. Have you thought about sabotaging their plan? I have, but I wouldn't even know where to start. I got an idea. What if you help me do it? You're, you're a smart guy, after all. All right, I'm in. I'll think of something. Yeah, I knew I could count on you, Bruce. We're together, through thick and thin. Come on, buddy. We don't want to get left behind. All right, John. Plug in the drive. According to Riddler's plan, we just gotta upload this little program into their system. I can't seem to figure this out. <laughs> Seriously, Puds? All I asked you to do was be the tech guy. Congratulations! You're hired! Now let's get this show on the road. And presto, changeo. Whoa! Was that the expected result? Hang on, would ya? Now that's what Mama wanted to see. Hang on to that, Brucie. I can't afford any more mishaps. All right, let's get moving. The lab is this way. The enemy! Dead ahead! <laughs> if these fools want to fight, I am more than happy to oblige. Heads up, fellas! You would be wise to get out of our way. Careful, Wayne. Your aversion to killing is testing my patience. Damn it. We don't have time for you to be incapacitated. Get open, Bruce.
initiated emergency protocol. We'll be incinerated. I would advise you all to get down on the floor. Should have brought my scarf. Bruce, get the door. these terminals before I can destroy the virus. Yes! 
I've done it. I did it, Nora. anymore. Harley! Wait up! Bye-bye, Brucey. Harley! No! <laughs> Tiffany and tell her to get to the manor. Harley's escaped with the virus. Right away. Get me a proper lockdown crew in here, Stat. I want bioscans on Freeze. Do not let him out of that airlock. Move it, people! Good work here, Bruce. Well, you managed to stay close to them until the end, I'll give you that. But with Doe still loose in Gotham, and the Lotus virus in the hands of a psychopath, I'm not sure good is the word I'd use to describe what happened here. Oh, I could think of some more colorful words to describe this situation. It was up to your people to catch them. Or were you just running late again? Both of you, please. Sanctus, right under our noses all this time. Oh, chemical weapons, human experimentation. Sanctus was, is, the darkest part of the Agency's history. Oh, this place is just... evil. And that's why we're shutting it down once and for all. We can take some of this equipment and put it to good use. <sighs> this facility needs to be raised to the ground. I don't want so much as a trace of it left in my city. Why don't you let me worry about that? Bruce, you need to get after Quinn, and quick. She's out there with the virus, and that's a threat to Gotham we simply can't allow. Freeze must have an idea about where she'd go in these circumstances. <laughs> Don't waste your time with that maniac. He'd say anything to throw us off track. But he's our best lead. Well, I disagree. Freeze is nothing more than a science experiment gone awry. You best keep your focus on Harley and the virus before anyone else gets hurt. She just completely shut me down. She's normally so open to all possible leads. This is so unlike her. And you weren't exactly being a model employee. Waller doesn't seem like the type to handle insubordination well. Sometimes pleasantries have to take a backseat when lives are on the line, Bruce. You, of all people, should know that. Listen. Director Waller may think it's a waste of time, but I say leave no stone unturned. I'll see what I can find out. Hey, Will. Give me a hand with this, will you? I think there may be something we can salvage back here. Hmm. Why 
Did you betray us? It couldn't possibly have been money. I failed to see what you have to gain. You need to be stopped. It's as simple as that, Victor. You don't fool me. You're Waller's lapdog and we both know it. From where I'm standing, it's Harley who betrayed you. She abandoned you, Victor. All of you. I need your help to find her. If you want me to tell you what I know about Harley, I'm going to need something from you in exchange. The agency intends to keep me prisoner with this virus living inside me. Given the chance, I could beat this just like Riddler. He became stronger for it. You're telling me that when Riddler worked here, he became infected with the Lotus virus? If he could survive it, I believe I can too. That dial, there. They've keyed it into the temperature regulators in the airlock. All I need from you is to turn that dial. Let my body do the rest. If you want to know where Harley is, you'll keep me from being Waller's test subject. Lower the temperature in the airlock. I know that I can fight this. I can't do that, Victor. The Lotus virus doesn't have to be this. Please. Riddler's blood can turn the virus into something that can heal. That's why we stole his body. Why your friends in the agency had it on ice. My Nora will perish if I don't use Lotus to save her. Bane merely hoped to cure himself of his addiction. Harley already has the virus. Now, she needs a blood sample from Riddler's body. With it, she will have what she needs to create the serum. She will destroy anything that gets in her way. She'll go for the body first. That's how you will find her. I already have samples of the blood. Look for a temperature-controlled container. No. You have what you came for. Please, reconsider. I need to get to the subway right away. If Harley's trying to make this serum, she'll go straight for Riddler's blood. I'm coming with you. The secondary properties of this virus. The serum they want to make from it. I've got a feeling Director Waller didn't want us to hear that. Which would explain why she steered you away from Freeze. What is she up to, I wonder? Waller always operates on some hidden agenda. I'm surprised that's news to you. I guess it's not. News, that is. I guess I just have blinders on when it comes to people I look up to. But don't worry about that now. If we hurry, we can intercept Harley at the lair. You probably shouldn't suit up for this. The less attention we draw to ourselves, the better. Suit up. Damn it. You don't know that I told Waller you were Batman, do you? Really? Are, are we... Are we all good? It's just... We never talked about it. I'd like to clear the air. Let's just say... I'll learn to live with it. Okay, then. We've got work to do. Lead the way. I suppose I should have seen this coming. 
She's become more and more erratic since she came to Gotham. I hardly know what she's going to do next. Harley? No. Director Waller. I'm not used to her keeping me out of the loop. I have to admit, a part of me was sort of hoping we'd be taking the Batmobile. Not that this car isn't great. But, you know, it's no Batmobile. Tough luck. I guess so. You've put a lot of time and energy into this crusade. I prefer to think of it as a mission. Do you ever question it? Not the mission. I mean, the methods. The clandestine nature of what you do. The fear tactics. The occasional brutality. No judgment. Just curious. No. Never. Damn. I wish I had that kind of confidence. I'm having a bit of an existential crisis. Existential crisis? <sighs> yeah. It's Waller. Why wouldn't she want us to know what Freeze told you? Things have gotten gray recently. Too gray. I don't know if I'm on the right side anymore. Maybe I shouldn't have brought this up. So what are you saying? I wish I knew exactly. I was hoping talking to you might give me some clarity. Hey, you sure you're okay to do this? Absolutely. You know, I looked through Gordon's case files about Harley. Her father suffered from mental illness that eventually drove him to suicide. An illness with a strong hereditary link. It's very possible she wants the serum to prevent the same thing happening to her. If she fails, she's got one deadly plan B. <laughs> Don't sound so worried, Batman. I'm here to help. We're almost there. against the wall. If she has Riddler's blood, she'll be incredibly dangerous. You don't need to tell me. Then we're on the same page. <sighs> I knew she'd be able to do it. Who? And do what? Catwoman. They threw her in this murder box before we left. Think she's still around? No. She's a runner. I doubt we'll be hearing from her anytime soon. Harley. She must be gone already. Do you think that means she already has the vials? I don't know, but it's worth a look. Maybe she got scared off before she could find them. Dried. Must be from when Harley shot Bane's men. C4. Plastic explosive. Only a little, though. Must be remnants from something... bigger. I don't remember Bane making bombs, and it doesn't match Freeze's M.O. Who then? Harley? John? Even money on both. Damn it. What is it? They're gone. The vials are gone. C4 and stolen blood. So how do those two things add up? So... Keep looking.
Hey, Avesta, does this look familiar? We call it a liminal device, a not quite as powerful phalanx key. Some agency field ops are issued one, and if they left it, they must have been rushed. An agency team has been here. It could have been used to access Freeze's container with the vials. Huh. On the side here, someone's damaged this. was supposed to preserve him. Obviously, it failed. Right. Decomposition is actually accelerated. They purposefully disabled the capsule. If that's the case, then they were trying to destroy the body. It's textbook asset denial. But it's some sloppy work. They were moving fast. Too fast. Bruce, why? Rapid decay. I wonder if that's a side effect of the virus, or being in that capsule, or both. If Harley decides to release the virus, that sample may be the most valuable weapon we have. Alfred, I did a bioscan of Riddler's corpse. I'm sending the data to you. The body is breaking down, so do your best with it. Received, Bruce. It's... Oh my. This may take a bit of time. So, Waller takes the blood and has Riddler's body destroyed. That would make her the only player who could create a viable Project Lotus sample. Having all the pieces to the puzzle. Oh my god. Bruce. The Pact all had problems. Medical problems they needed solving. And if Waller's the solution, she can make them work for her. She's not above using leverage to get people under her thumb. I mean, look what she did with my identity. Harley. The virus. Where is she, John? Where's Harley? I don't think we've been formally introduced. Doe. John Doe. <laughs> you seem kind of familiar. I asked you a question, John. I heard you, Bruce. I do understand English. <sighs> she was here. Wait, she was here? Yeah. Ugh. Where is she now, John? This is important. You got some real nerve. You know that? Buddy! Remember the cafe? Just manipulate her, John. And then you convinced me to sabotage our whole operation. And for what? She flew the coop! And I, I have nothing. You steered me wrong. At every turn. Every bad piece of advice. Everything blew up in my face. This isn't my fault. Harley betrayed us. Both of us. Yeah. But you weren't in love with her. Oh, no point. It's over. The pact. 
dream? Us? Not yet, it's not. She's still out there, with a deadly virus in a city full of innocent people. Call me when you got something I care about. It always surprises me how heavy guns are. This was hers. John, don't be stupid. I will break your hand to get that gun. Oh, Bruce, you're always so serious. <laughs> I was joking. Well, it's been real. What are you doing, John? Leaving. There's nothing left for me here. A lot of bad memories. And a weird smell. John, I understand you want to run. I've run before. But problems, they just come with you. No matter how far you go. Nope. Pretty sure I can get away from that smell. Damn it, John. Listen to me. I need to find Harley. I don't want to do this anymore. Not for you. Not for her. Certainly not for Gotham. <laughs> so, that's a wake-up call. Fine. The agency was here. They took the blood while I was up here. In my dark place. Then Harley showed up. The blood was gone. Riddler's body ruined. She was furious. That's how I got this. So, thanks for the slap on top of that. And where do you think Miss Quinn is now? We'd like to find her sooner rather than later. I don't want to find her. My heart can't take another kicking. I don't ever want to see her again. She ruined me. I, I can't. You need closure, John. Face to face. Nothing else is going to make you feel better. I promise you that. I just can't say no to you, Bruce. You gotta keep an eye on this guy. That Wayne charm gets him every time. You sure know how to spin things. All the right ways to uh, twist my arm. It's going to take me a few hours to find her. I have to check a few places. Do some things. Okay, we'll come with you. <laughs> no, you won't. There will be plenty of time for John and Bruce later. This is... I need to do this alone. I'll call you when I find something. Wait, hold on. We'd really like your help, John. Are you sure you won't reconsider us coming with you? I did. And it's a hard pass. We're coming with you. You're being a real jerk, Bruce. When you first walked through that door, I honestly thought you came here to check on me. John, stop. Bruce. Oh, relax. <laughs> Bye. No. Oh. I'm going to track down those vials in the agency's cold storage. Be careful. Thanks. Alfred, how's the bioscan analysis going? Nearly complete. I should have it ready for you when you arrive. I'm on my way. Back. I'm taking over at the computer.
Please don't. Al. Al, can you hear me? Alfred? Oh, uh, 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 what's, what's the matter? Uh, Thomas, uh, let's, let's chat. Uh, now's the time. It won't be long. So much to do. Thomas isn't here. It'll be all right. No, it's, it's, it's not all right, Thomas. You're consorting with dangerous people while your son sleeps upstairs. Please, please wake up. Bruce, I... Where, where, where am I? Easy, easy. You're in the cave. Take your time, think back, and tell me exactly what happened. Ah, oh, no, it was... It was nothing. I was... I was working and I felt... I felt dizzy for a moment. Uh, I, I must have been more exhausted than I realized. Uh, and, well, basically that's all there is to it. Come on, you can't stay on the floor. Let's get you on your feet. Uh, oh, Jed. Hey, 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 be careful. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Bruce. I'll just catch my breath. Just give me a moment, please. It's all nonsense. What is? Freeze's magic cure-all. It doesn't work as intended. Take a look. The bioscan of Riddler's body. I used the analysis you sent me to simulate its interaction with the virus. And the bat computer promptly found holes in Freeze's calculations. Lotus. Megavirus. Only one known survivor. Riddler. Freeze thinks his blood is now a key to unlocking Lotus's true potential. It appears that Lotus can be synthesized into a restorative agent for the human body. A remarkable one. Well, Freeze got that part right, but... But as soon as Lotus repairs any physical problems, it causes irreparable damage to the subject's brain chemistry. It drives you insane. It's what Riddler meant when he said, I wasn't always like this. All of these people, all of them trying to kill each other, for something that will make them as deranged as he was in the end. We all should know by now that miracles come with a cost. Lotus is nothing more than a poison. Harley's already insane, Alfred. I doubt she's worried about taking it up a notch. Yes, you're probably right. Although if she wants the serum to avoid what happened to her father, well, <laughs> it's certainly ironic. Run the simulation again. Then forward the readings to Special Agent Imana Vesta. Ah, I already ran it several times myself. Uh, I... I wanted to, to be thorough. Silly notion, I know. My problems are purely psychological. My real cure is a very long vacation. Somewhere far away from Gotham. A place where the sun actually comes to visit. I guess that's a discussion for another time. Avesta. I read your report. The serum makes the whole thing beyond dangerous. Did you find out where Waller's keeping Riddler's blood? Yeah. She's got the area on lockdown, but I think I can get myself in. And then I'm taking these things off the table. Permanently. There's no time to think of another angle on this. I won't let Waller turn the agency back into something like Sanctus, Bruce. The vials have to go. Good luck. Let's get you somewhere more comfortable. Oh, Bruce. Uh, Tiffany's up there. She's probably wondering where I hurried off to. I'm sorry, Albert. We can't risk you falling again. Very well. No, we, we mustn't keep Tiffany worrying any longer. She's done quite enough of that the past few days. Ready? Mm. 
I'm afraid that's all we do. Worry the ones closest to us. Okay, yes, thank you. The doctor is on her way. How are you feeling? Well, better. A little more rest and some tea and I'll be as good as new. Make that a lot more rest, Alfred. You're hurt. The only thing hurt is my pride. Which, sadly, even the doctor won't be able to fix. You can put up a strong front, but I'm not leaving your side until the doctor arrives. Got it? Understood. Be straight with me. How worried should I be? You don't need to sugarcoat it. I just need facts. It's nothing to worry about. Yes, quite right. So let's please talk about something else. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's just... There's a lot more to worry about right now than me. Well, there is something else. I know this isn't the best time, but I need your advice. Director Waller's people reached out after the incident at your office. They said they were impressed with my skill set. We got to talking, and well, they offered me a job with the agency. The training would start immediately, but it'd be a big step for me. I thought you might have some insight. I can see you're both really into the idea. This isn't what your father would have wanted for you. I think he'd be proud. I'd be using my skills to fight crime. To protect others from losing their loved ones. Wayne Enterprises... It's hard there, Bruce. I see my dad in every hallway. I hear his laugh around every corner. And you, you're not around. I'm left to myself, with shadows and ghosts and secrets. Waller's tough, I know that. But she is ready to take me under her wing. She knows how to get things done. I really hope you'll reconsider. You've really got nothing to say? It's decided then. I'll hand in my notice first thing. And I'll tell Director Waller I accept. to go. We'll be waiting right here. John? Dr. 
Dr. Quinzel. This is Harley's. Easy on me, you know? What am I gonna say to Bruce? It, 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 it wasn't me. I, I, I mean, it, it was me, but it, it was self defense. I, I know it needs work. Stop judging me. You agent. You should never have come here. It's about boundaries, you know? This, this place it was special to me and Harley. People like you. And you rudely show up uninvited? You, 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 you were uninvited, weren't you? But how do I know Bruce didn't send you after me? He's so buddy buddy with the agency. No! Bruce wouldn't do that! It was like this when I showed up. No, no, no. no. Think, 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 John! Think! Bruce? I'm so glad you're here. Please, it just... It, it's, it's not what it looks like. I, I can explain. Just try and reserve judgment. What have you done, John? No, no, please! It's... Hear me out. What happened? Is Harley here? She left just as I got here. The agents, they came looking for her. They're not supposed to just start shooting, Bruce. They're supposed to say, hands up. I've seen it on the TV. They just attacked you. I tried to talk sense into them, but they wouldn't listen. They, they just wanted blood. Something took hold of me. Something dark, and vicious, and desperate for survival. I grabbed the nearest thing and started swinging. <laughs> you think this is funny? I'm, so, I'm sorry. I, I always laugh when I'm nervous.
I completely redecorated, didn't I? <laughs> I wonder what Harley would think of the new color scheme. <laughs> You said you hit them with something. I think so. I, I just grabbed whatever came to hand. This woman has a gunshot wound. Oh, really? In the back. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's coming back to me now. She was going for her partner's gun, and I, I just, I just went on autopilot. I didn't stop until I was safe. I've just been sitting here in the dark until you came in you can be straight with me john why wouldn't i be telling you the truth if i hadn't fought them off i'd be the one lying in a pool of blood you 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 believe me don't you because if we don't have trust what do we really have it's it's the foundation of any healthy relationship honestly john I don't really buy it. Like I just said, she was shot in the back. I'm feeling very persecuted here, Bruce. I don't like it. Not one bit. You're supposed to be on my side. I guess I'm an idiot for expecting that, aren't I? What do you mean? Whatever this is between us, it's off balance. The goodwill only flows one way, and it isn't towards me. You've made that very clear by now. Yeah, it is off balance, but not the way you're saying. You are the one surrounded by corpses. Corp, it's all my fault. Why should Bruce Wayne have to take responsibility for anything? should have known things were wrong the moment you put that tracker on me. You've been using me from the start! At least have the decency to admit it! The least you can do is come clean about that! I'm not stupid, Bruce! Please, please, don't feed me any more lies. It's not true, John. I care about you. As a friend, I really do. S say that. We both know that's a lie. You don't even respect me enough to tell me the truth. <sighs> John, I'm... I could have had you, but for that sucker hunch. <laughs> Didn't think Batman fought dirty like that. What? You forget I know you, Bruce. The real you. Always hiding behind some kind of mask. Playboy, businessman, criminal. Bat. You can't fool a friend. Someone who really takes the time to look. You kind of gave it away with the laptop. I had some doubts after you gave up Catsy to a room of murderers. But then, you had to maintain your cover, didn't you? For the greater good. John, John, that's ridiculous. I'm the furthest thing from Batman there is. No, <laughs> you don't have to keep your mask on anymore, Bruce. Not with me. <sighs> oh, are you gonna make me trot out? All the evidence. All right, how about the vanishing act you pulled at the cafe when the bat signal showed up? You don't think I noticed how obvious that was? You think you can use that against me as blackmail? Oh, I would never. We're two threads in the same stitch, remember? Bound together. Even under strain. Then what's your point? After we raided the agency's convoy, Harley stashed one of their trucks here. And now it's gone. Which means she's getting out of town. 
across the Gotham Bridge. Let me help you stop her. I'm not asking for much, just a little faith. I swear to you, this was self-defense. One more time, you do believe me, don't you? You still have faith in me, don't you? Your old buddy, John? No. I can't trust you. Can't? Or won't? After everything I've done for you. Well, do what you have to do, old friend. This ditch is broken. We, we could have done great things together, Batman. But you had to go and ruin it! Hardly warned me about you. And now she needs my help. She was right. I belong at her side. Alfred, I lost John. Something tells me he'll be running right back to Harley. Anything I can do? Give me a surveillance feed at the Gotham Bridge. Harley's trying to get out of the city with the virus and a truck full of explosives. I'll need to suit up to stop her. A woman dressed as a clown is in a standoff with government agents and the GCPD. Reports say she's threatening to set off explosives unless her demands are met. More as it comes in. This standoff looks like it's just begun. Harley looks cornered. That makes her more dangerous than ever. GCBD needs to get these people far away. I see Harley's truck, Alfred. I could drop straight under the cab, take her out before she has a chance to detonate the C4. But there are a lot of civilians. No time to waste. It's the only way you're getting out of this alive. Waller's agents have orders. Shoot to kill. I got a virus in my pocket and C4 in the truck. This is a dead man's switch. My finger comes off it like if I'm shot or something. Everything goes boom. You tell him I want the goddamn vials of Riddler's blood. Or I'm gonna blow this freaking bridge to hell. And everyone on it. What's it gonna be, Bats? Doesn't seem like we got a lot of time. Look around you. You're not the one in control here. Then maybe we'll all go up in flames. I'm ready. I see you found Miss Quinn. My people will take it from here. Stand aside, and we can all go on our merry way. She's mine now. This is a volatile situation, and you're not helping. You can't reason with a mind like hers. The only thing she understands is brute force. All of you can shut your damn pie holes. I want Riddler's blood, right freaking now, or everyone here goes boom. Your threats are well and good, but I don't have it. Don't try and play me, lady. Your people took it from the subway. We took it, but someone destroyed it against my will. Someone on my team. It's gone. Whatever serum you thought you could make, it's off the table. It ain't true. 
It can't be. It is true. Disarm the detonator and put your hands behind your head. The hell I will! This is my show, and I'm the one calling the shots! Line. Like maggots need meat. What are you doing? They'll kill us. <laughs> oh, oh no, Harley. I'm going to kill them. Believe me, it's gonna be a blast. Freeze! Stay where you are! <laughs> You didn't think this through, did you? You blow the bridge, you both die. You say you're all about justice. Justice is a joke! You tell me what's just about my life. I lost half of it in an asylum to a sickness I couldn't control. Control. Everybody, pull back! You say you're all about justice! Justice! Is a joke! You tell me what's just about my life! I lost half of it in an asylum to a sickness I couldn't control! But now, I'm in control. Everybody, pull back! Jay, I always knew you'd do great things. A moment to cherish, Harley. So glad I could share it with you.